Hello. Weird angle, I know, but I thought I'd try something different. Today's video is about transcendence in a nutshell. What is the easiest thing you can take away and repeat in your head over and over and over again to actually practice to see genuine results in your everyday life? And that's what I call part of the whole. It's a way of approaching presence and awareness that actually makes sense to some people if they think about it in this particular way. We are all usually preoccupied with one thing or another, and our attention span is more like an attention cup that can only be filled by one thing at a time. Let's say you notice a sound, and you have a thought about that sound, and that thought triggers another thought, and you go on and on and on. The thinking and the sounds and the sights, everything that you notice that's part of your attention, make it a part of the whole. And as you get better at this, you'll notice this vast space inside yourself that is the whole of life, the whole of this present moment, where all of your energy just starts flowing. And it's the weirdest thing because life becomes so easy. And so take a sound, notice it, and then find the hole in which that sound is encapsulated. And then you get this whole feeling. Let's say I'm preoccupied with me filming in my room, then I notice myself filming in my room. And then the object of my attention is me filming in that room, in this room. There's a space in which that occurs. And if I connect to that space, my energy flows even more. The only thing that gets in the way is becoming preoccupied with particulars. Particulars are pieces. You don't want to think yourself into pieces. That's what makes you feel torn inside and not whole. That's why we project our levels of connection onto other people, our enjoyments onto ideas in the future, our creative fulfillment onto anything that isn't being creative now. Living life at its full potential right here, right now, from moment to moment. Because life is a series of moments, so why not Enjoy this moment. <laughs> Stop sacrificing the now for the future. Your future will only be as beautiful as the love you give today. That is something that I wrote on an Instagram caption that I just read that is pretty fucking awesome because I wrote it a while ago. Just thought I'd throw that back out there. But just in case you weren't aware, just in case you need a summary, let's say you're in a particular practice, you're trying to do something, and it's a little difficult. You notice a little bit of emotional tension or physical tension. You're at your limit, which is great. Congrats to you. Congratulations for being at your limit, even if you feel like you're not even close. When you notice tension in the act of pursuing whatever it is that you're trying to pursue, whenever you're trying to perform in a particular way, become aware of that as part of the whole. Notice the sights and sounds in your area. Notice your sense of self. Notice everything and the beautiful aspects of all life. And the energy will flow in the most creative and spontaneous way because your capacity is opened, your potential is opened. And your intelligence is now allowed to manifest from pieces to the whole. If you ever find yourself preoccupied with thinking or feeling or doing something, return to that space in which these things are occurring. And that's not only where you'll find peace, but that's where you'll find your infinite potential. I hope that sums it up. I'll make a quick note if it doesn't at the end of editing this video. Thank you for watching. And one more thing. If you want to learn the depths of how to do this, if you want to get pulled, dragged into being able to reach your full potential, sign up for my coaching. Let's do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Email me. Follow me on Instagram and DM me. I'll answer all your questions. I'll make you 100% sure that I can take you in that direction. Thanks for watching.